Hey guys, Claire here, and I am here with the beautiful Yasmin. Hello. Hi. Yasmin is one of my dearest friends, and she's also my favorite florist. She does <laughs> gorgeous arrangements. All the ones back here are hers. And if you've been watching the channel, you know her from our cool job segment we did on how to be a florist. And one of my favorite things about Yasmin is she has this amazing ability to teach and teaches these great workshops. So today she's going to teach us a lesson. We're teaching you how to make a bouquet out of grocery store flowers. I love this idea so much. So tell us a little bit, what did you gather from the grocery store? I really did buy all of these from the grocery store. I wanted to... Um, make sure that I was challenged in the way that all of you will be challenged if you try this yourself. Um, and I got things that I think are pretty easy to find at most grocery stores. Mm -hmm. These are kind of the basics. So um, what we have are ornamental kale, spray roses, freesia, and some greens. Oh, Dusty Miller. Yeah, Dusty Miller. So first I have this ornamental kale, which is really, really beautiful. And I'm just fluffing it out, taking each leaf and pulling it back, which makes it look larger. Oh, wow. And also, I removed one that looked a little bit yellow. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all the kale that I have. So remove any of the sad ones. Yes. And then you just kind of pull and fluff. I can't get over that. It's I huge. Know. It's Doesn't like it, look so much more it looks so much more vibrant. And something about kale, kale and cabbage, is that it looks sort of rose-like. It does. It totally does. It's a really pretty shape. So now that we have all the kale fluffed, I'm going to show you maybe one of my favorite tricks. I'm going to take these spray roses, remove the center, and doing so, I think makes them look so much more like they were picked from a garden, and less like they were picked. From your local grocery store. Oh my gosh, it does! Yeah, I love so that. If you want to do this one? I'm gonna. That, show that's a good you. little side by side, because this looks so much more romantic. One of my favorite flowers that Yasmin introduced me to are the single petal, um, or like, is it single petal? The yeah, they're called single petal, even if they have more than one. Yeah, petal. they have like five petals, but the <laughs> single petal roses—they smell gorgeous. Yes, pretty. When I'm constructing a bouquet, I typically choose a focal flower, and then I choose an accent flower. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have the kale be the focal flower, mm -hmm. and the spray roses be one of the accents. Take the kale and sort of place your hand loosely mm -hmm. so that you can stick a, a stem easily. Uh -huh. and, do you know what I mean? Like holding chopsticks, kind of? Yes, precisely. And then you're going to keep adding. Okay. And put them on varying heights. So like something like, like yeah. meh? That's okay. great. And you can always move this. You're not committed to this, ultimately. I'm You're still adding more flowers. I like yeah. it. Yeah, that'll be okay. Even right? that by itself is so pretty. It's like... I'm into it. I'd accept it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to continue with the garden roses. I'm removing this. And then you can just flip the petals back. You can do this trick with all the spray roses that you purchased, or you can do maybe one um, stem like this and one stem the way that they are originally. Oh, nice to get kind of a mix. Yeah, so Claire, if you can add the one that I already pulled. Just kind of wherever. Yeah, I think that looks nice. That looks really pretty. I typically add my focal flower, accent flower, and then greens. So yeah. I'm gonna have you add some greens. This is also a flower that's really easy to find at the grocery store. This is Freesia. It has a nice strong scent to it as well. So I'm going to have you start adding these. And just kind of add them to the mix a little bit. Yeah. Try to cluster your flowers in odd numbers. Claire is going to be using seven stems of freesia, three stems of garden roses, and five stems of kale. This is looking really beautiful. Yeah, I'm super I, I impressed. Think if you really um, stick to one palette or maybe mm -hmm. stick to all one flower, you yeah. can make it look very distinguished and refined. So otherwise, you might end up with something that looks like it was sold at the grocery store. This looks really sweet. That looks great. Yeah. And at this point, if you have any leftover flowers, you can absolutely add them. If it ends up being that you put eight stems of freesia instead of seven, I don't think anybody's going to No count. one's going to start as counting As long that. as it's not super detectable. I ask the store for a paper bag, and this is not a Whole Foods advertisement, <laughs> but I want to show you what I do with this paper bag. I cut it to make it my wrapping. Ah! Yeah. In this case, I don't really want to advertise that I've bought these flowers from Whole Foods, so I'm just gonna flip this over. Pro tip, 
carry twine always. These look so beautiful. I Thank love, you. I mean, the tips with the fluffing and the roses and composition. I love it. I mean, I'm definitely gonna, well, I'm still always gonna hold out for your arrangements, but if I'm in a pinch. I think you'd be able to make a really beautiful <laughs> arrangement. The more wild you can make your arrangement, the better. So one of my issues with grocery store flowers is that they look really contrived and tight. Mm -hmm. This one's still a little bit tight, but if you can make it look wispy, if you find grasses, yeah. um, that would be really lovely. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing these tips with me. It was so much fun. It was fun. I Thank love you. having you on. Thank you. And please guys, if you use any of Yasmin's tips and create your own bouquet, make sure to tag both of us in it because we'd love to check it out. All of her info is below, so please show her some love on social media. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. We love hearing from you guys and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.